Scott Erickson, Technical Marketing for Pulse Secure. Today, we're going to take a look at the end user workflows for Pulse Secure SDP. There are two core access methods clientless, which uses a web browser, and client based through the standard Pulse client. First, clientless can be used to access the full resource list, though the admin could place restrictions on what can be accessed via clientless. This would be done to block sensitive resource access from non enrolled machines, such as personal laptops. The admin may want to ensure only approved devices onto the most sensitive parts of the network. Either way, the user can log in through the portal as seen here. This development is just using basic Active Directory authentication, but any authentication path supported by Pulse Secure can be used here. Once the user logs in, they are presented a custom list of resources based on their role and access method. These resources may live anywhere, on network, data center, or cloud. The user doesn't need to know or care where they live. They just click in and access any one of the resources seamlessly. Full SAML integration is also available for SSO. Next, we'll take a look at the enrollment process. Here on the landing page, the user has the option to enroll a device in the standard SDP deployment. This will install certs, gateway profiles, and if needed, complete any host checking required by the admin. Once the user has enrolled, you can see the new SDP profile show up in the client. Once the user has enrolled, you can see the new SDP profile is loaded into the Pulse client. This deployment can live side by side any previous PCS or PPS deployments, which allows current customers an easy migration process from standalone gateways into the SDP deployment model. Once the user is connected to the SDP gateway, they can simply click the home button to access their SDP portal. All gateway connections, either Layer 3 or Layer 4, are automatically managed through the Pulse client. Again, the user doesn't need to know or care what type of connections to which specific gateway any given resource is making. It is all done automatically. 